bacon and I'm crisping it up in my pan and I'll cook it until it's crispy and then take it out. turn my heat down a little bit on that. So I salted and peppered both sides of my rabbit. I'm just gonna stick them. In the pan. I'm going to cook it about four to five minutes on each side, just browning it both sides. I will not cook it all the way through because I'm going to finish it off in the oven. So I'm just cooking my rabbit in the bacon grease basically on both sides until they're kind of golden brown on both sides. And then my video cut out, so what I did was um, crisp up some of my vegetables about five to six minutes for each uh, side basically and then uh, I'll add my other bunch of vegetables and a little bit more bacon grease to the pan to keep them from sticking and then I was seasoning them with uh, salt and thyme just to taste so I just doing a sprinkle at a, a little bit of a sprinkle I probably didn't use more than like a teaspoon and a half and then uh, I used a carton of uh, portobello mushrooms and then one onion. I forgot to add my garlic, so I added it at the end and cooked it for about 30 seconds. Then uh, I added my tomato paste, which really wasn't tomato paste, it was sofrito because I didn't have any tomato paste, but I made do with it. And then after I cook that for about 30, 40 seconds, I added a cup of chicken broth and a cup and a half of red wine. Um, the red wine cooking sauce, uh, uh, cooking, I like that better, like the cooking wine. Um, if I had time, I would have marinated my rabbit in the wine overnight, but I didn't have time. So I'm just deglazing the pan. And then my video cut out again. I got a new camera, so I'm just learning how to use it. So I added my vegetables and then my rabbit and a little bit more vegetables on top. Um, and then I'm gonna put it in a oven that's at 350 for 30 minutes. Thank you for watching.